Today, uh, uh, typical students in secondary education uh, have a better access to uh, ICT equipment in the classroom, but to an extent that varies between countries. For example, uh, in countries like Norway, Sweden, Denmark, uh, Finland, uh, more than 80% of the students uh, are in very well equipped schools. When we look at the use uh, of ICT for learning in the classroom. Uh, we found a, a rather striking result in this uh, survey commissioned by the European Commission and the fact is that the regular use of ICT in teaching and learning is very rare. The survey shows that the students having high access to ICT at home and at school are much more confident in their digital competence compared to students only having high access at home. 70% of the students on average at European level are told by teachers dedicating time during their spare time to ICT training. So we didn't expect such a high proportion of teachers doing this. This result shows that policies to convince teachers and school heads are no more needed. The policies that are needed is to equip them with the relevant competence to transform this positive opinion into effective practice in the classroom. It's also very interesting to notice that they express very positive opinion about the relevance of using ICT for teaching as well as the positive impact it has on student achievement and student motivation. The first recommendation is to focus on teacher professional development, on-the-job training, online learning communities, uh, cooperation between teachers at school level. These are the new schemes very much favored by the teachers and giving good results. So at European level, for example, it would be interesting to identify what are the conditions for this new scheme to give good, to produce good results. And at national level, it will also be helpful to look at all the existing support uh, for uh, teacher development and to reorient them a little bit in favor of this new scheme. First of all, to invest in capacity building. Secondly, to combine concrete measures at school level to support the use of ICT with strategies and policy to integrate it into the courses themselves. And the last recommendation is about developing country-specific policies because this is one of the big results of this survey is that a very large difference between countries still exists.